God is not real. You say, I was in that service and I felt him. He touched me. I pray that God will touch you. I pray that you will allow yourself to be touched. You will not be too dignified or too concerned about people's opinion. You say, no, it doesn't matter how you look at me, but that name is beautiful. Nothing compares to this. 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 Well, are you sure? Hallelujah! Lord, have your way this morning. We say, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. We say, Lord, have your way this morning. See that name? That name. That name. That name. That name. That name. That name. It represents the totality of what he was, what he is, and what he will be. Let's take your seats. The name of Jesus, say with me, the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. represents the totality of who he was, who he is, and who he will ever be. I said in the earlier service this morning that if you say your name is Tunde Bolanta, somebody will ask you, which Tunde Bolanta is that? They will begin to ask you about my parents, my childhood, where I went to school, what I'm doing now, my wife, my children. The Bible says to us that for in him, Colossians 2, 9 and 10, dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. That name is a family name this morning. We are complete in him, who is the head of all principality and power. The fullness of the Godhead dwelleth in him, what? Bodily. John 1, 1 to 4 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So God had this name as a secret from the beginning. He knew he would name his son Jesus as a secret from the beginning. All things were made by him, and for him and without him was not anything made that was made Matthew 1 21 his name shall be called Jesus which means savior that name is a saving name because it has got saving ability that name has been there from the beginning all things consist in that name is the head of all principality and powers everything answers to the name of Jesus nothing compares to this and we have been given that name this morning. I said we have been given that name this morning. I said we have been given that name this morning. I said we have been given that name this morning. I said we have been given that name this morning. I said we have been given that name this morning. The name that conquers all. The name that was in the beginning. The name who is, who was, who is typical Calibo Santaye. We have been given that name this morning. Is there a believer in the house of the Lord? The blood of Jesus gives the power to that name. He is called Savior. He is called Savior because his blood brought salvation. Amen. He went to the cross. He paid with his life. He gave everything. Of Jesus is a family name. I said it's a family name. If they come in here and they say Idachaba, who is going to stand up? If I call your name Idachaba, Ayodele, the person sitting next to him did not even look. 
Because he cannot answer that name. Because the history of that man, the history of this man standing here validates their name. Who their father was or who their father is. The training they had. I want to say to you this morning that the name of Jesus is validated by his blood and his life. And everything he has paid for. And there is no demon, there is no principality, there is no power, there is no kingdom, there is no rulership that has that history, that has that blood that was poured. And I want to announce to a child of God today, when they come against you in their name, you can use the name that you have. And the name is the name of the king of kings and the lord of lords. Demons bow before him. Principalities bow before that name because it's the name of God this morning. I'm here to announce to you, poverty will bow before that name. Miscarriage will bow before that name. Every problem in your life will bow before that name because it's the name of Almighty God. If you believe it, shout the name of Jesus. Shout that name again. Shout that name again. Shout that name again. Sit down for a bit. When Peter came to the gate called Beautiful in Acts chapter 3, he had not yet prayed. He was going to a prayer meeting. Acts 3 verse 1. Now when Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they had laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an arms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. What does he say? But such as I have, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up, rise up. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, help me, give I thee, in the name, rise up and walk. The name of Jesus then is a spiritual legal tender for the believer. It's a spiritual legal tender. Somebody asks you for money, and you say, look, I don't have money, but I have something more powerful than money. I have something I can use to demand your deliverance. A spiritual legal tender through which you demand your deliverance. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. That means saying the name belongs to me, like my money in my pocket belongs to me. When the money in your pocket belongs to you, you don't need to pray to use your money. If you have a thousand naira and your need is 500 naira, you don't need to start saying, Heavenly Father, you just pull it out. It's your money. I want to say the name is your name. The name is your name. Jesus does not need to use his name. He has never needed to use his name. He got that name by conquest. Colossians 2.15 Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. He got that name by conquest. Conquered every demon warring us today and said, listen, this is my name. You use it. When you call my name, I will show up. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. You know there are certain legal tenders that will not work. If you go to the UK and you have a million naira in your pocket, they will not take it from you except you change that money. If you go to America, you have a million naira in your pocket, they will not, you cannot use it except you change it to dollars. There are some visas that are limited. You have a UK visa and you say, well, I feel like going to France. I'm sorry you cannot go to France because if a UK visa does not enter France except it's a Schengen visa. There are all limitations on everything. But we have a name that is not limited this morning. We have a name that is not limited this morning. We have an account that has been credited by God this morning. I pray God will give us understanding. There are things standing against you. They can't stand against the name. That name conquered that problem. When you use the name of Jesus, it's not the end of your prayer. You are using it to demand or as a seal. Let me show you these two things quickly. Hallelujah to Jesus. Church, are you still with me this morning? Are you happy you came for second service? Oh, my Lord. The glory that showed up this morning. We didn't experience that in the first service. It was glorious, but this, I think, was greater. How many of you think it was greater in this service? I mean, first service was wonderful. This is more than too wonderful. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is why I want everybody, 
young and old to be under the anointing because it does something for a lifetime. There are some things that you cannot teach. You can only catch. If you sit in a service like this, something is deposited. No amount of pastor. You saw I left the microphone when God took over. So I want you sometimes to get everybody in. So you can, you can feel. Those are the things that you live with for life. Because you tasted it. You felt it. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. All right. Um, so the blood paid. And I said the name belongs to people of covenant. Remember in Genesis 17, 4 to 5? Remember Abraham? When God made a covenant with him, he said, your name will no more be Abraham, but Abraham. There were some guys in the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 13 to 20, they are called the seven sons of Sceva. Remember them? They said, in the name of Jesus, that Paul preached, and the demon beat them up. Why? Because they were not family members. Acts 19, from 13 to 9, 20, the sons of Sceva, they, they went to a man, uh, let me read a bit. There's certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists. Can you imagine exorcists? That means they used to cast out demons or spirits. Took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by the name by Jesus whom Paul preached. The, the, and there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. Verse 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know. Paul, I know, but who are you? And the evil spirits, and, and, and the man in whom the evil spirit was, was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. You will not be naked and wounded when you use this name because it's a family name. We are covenant people. We are people of the eighth day blessing like we had last week. We are people of the eighth day blessing. And what, you know what that eighth day blessing is? Noah took eight people into the ark. God saved them by covenant. God told Abraham on the eighth day, circumcise your children. David was the eighth son in the family. He became a king. The eight wounds of Jesus, the crown of thorns on his head, the two hands that were pierced, his two feet that was, that, that was pierced, his, his side, his back, the eight wounds of Jesus. We are people of covenant. Those eight wounds were for us. And in the garden of Gethsemane, he was bleeding before he ever got there. Those eight wounds were for covenant people. And the name belongs to people of the eighth, eighth blessing. I want to say when you use that name, heaven knows his children. God is not like some parents who don't know the name of their children. He knows every one of us. He even named the hair that is falling down from your head. So they know who you are. Don't compromise with evil. They know who you are. I want to say heaven knows your name this morning. Heaven knows who you are this morning. They know you can use that name and demons will bow because it's a family legacy. It's a family name. It's a family legacy. It can be a very big embarrassment for a man to walk into a place and somebody introduces themselves and said, I'm Mrs. John, and your own name is John, and you don't know the woman. That's a problem there. That means you got into a covenant nobody knows about. I want to announce to you today that you are a covenant child of God. The name will work for you the way it worked for Paul because it's the name of Jesus, our Savior. It's the name of our elder brother. Demons bow. Demons tremble. Principalities tremble. In your office they will tremble. He's the head of all principalities and power. Every human being who stands against you will bow to that name. When you use that name, you are demanding in the name of Jesus and they will bow. Jesus said in John 14, 13, I believe, he said, whatsoever thing you ask, the Greek word there means demand in my name. When you are demanding, you are not praying. When you go to an ATM, like I said earlier in the service, in the first service, when you go to an ATM and you got money in the ATM, you don't pray to the ATM. You, don't, you are not nervous at the ATM because it's your account. I want to say the ATM of Jesus Christ, everything that he paid for through his blood, they've been credited into your account. Forgiveness has been credited into your account. Healing has been credited into your account. Favor has been credited into your account. Prosperity has been credited into your account. Everything in the divine economy of the blood has been credited into your account. I want to encourage a child of God today, they have been credited, but if you have that card and you don't have a pain, you are in trouble. I want to say the pain that opens all of the mercies of God 
is that name 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 can somebody shout the name of Jesus can somebody shout it one more time can somebody shout it one more time I was talking to a pastor in this town who used to be in the cult, in the occult. I think Pastor uh, Joel, um, Leo, you were with me that day. And he said to me, he used to go to the river and appear in Lagos. Marine spirit, we just appear in Lagos and go and do a meeting. He said, but one day they were having their meeting, their ogre, somebody mistakenly said, Jesus! Everybody began to roll, they began to scream. He said, ogre, what's it? He said, no, don't mention that name again. There's something about that name. That when they raised the man by the beautiful gate, the Sahindu, the leaders of the day said, you can preach anything, but that name, we don't want to hear it. Devil does not want to hear that name. If somebody beats you mercilessly, remove your teeth, all your 32, remove all of them, wounded you, hospital could not treat you, you have never recovered. When you hear the person's name, you will say, no, 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 don't call that name again. Every time you mention the name of Jesus, hell, they remember their wounds. Every time you mention the name of Jesus, every principality and power, they remember they are defeated. I want to say to you today, that problem in your life is not bigger than God. And the name that God has given us to overtake any problem is the name of Jesus. I pray that you, the church, will take up that name again. I pray that the church will take up that name again. But instead, what have we taken up? The pastor's picture. The God of this one. I was in Romania. It has happened to me. I was preaching in Romania. Blind eyes, crippled, deaf, you know, and all that kind of divers. When we got to another church, they had already printed my picture. Ha! Ah. I said, Dr. Chiota, what is this? Oh, the way the Lord. I said, ah. Peter said that day, it is not by our holiness that we have made this man to war, but by that name. I pray for every pastor that you are praying using your picture that God will help you to repent. Because you have one leg in hellfire. If you are listening to me, repent. And I'm not afraid. Repent if they are using your name to pray. Because you will go to hell on a fast lane. There's only one name given under heaven, whereby men must be saved. Amen. Somebody has to say it. Yes, you carry your pastor's name. Father, in the name of Bolanta. Ah. Your prayer is not going beyond this roof. <laughs> if I want to say demons, we say, kill him. <laughs> but what you say in the name. 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 In the name, 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 shout hallelujah. You see, that's why they are adding many things for people. Because they are not using the name. You have to add salt, you have to add water, you have to add honey, you have to add stick, you have to add gown, you have to add sand. One guy was driving me just yesterday in Lagos. We had an all night where I went to preach. He said, in one place, when they finish ministry, they will sweep the sand on the altar. Then they will now pour water and the people will be drinking it. Hey, Joe. <laughs> You know, sometimes we say we will not see anything, but how won't you see anything? Sandy, don't let any man become God in your life. No man can replace this Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, some things they make me fear. When I say something, I say, somebody can really do this. I get scared of God. Ah, even if they are doing it, you will not say, please, please, don't let God kill me. The place where a human being match, pour sand, you, you go and sweep it, take it to, you say it's point of contact. It is a faith extender. Who is fooling who? What are you extending? <laughs> With sand? With sand? Then we say, having some kind of disease, you will not know where you got it from. I'm drinking sand. Two things quickly. Uh, mm. 
And I've realized every time you preach about this name, he comes very strong. And the church, we've left the name. Because I looked at the early church, they prayed in the name, they baptized in the name, they healed in the name, they gathered in the name. Everything they did, they did it in the name. The name is our identity. Just like you say, I'm in Nigeria. The name of Jesus is your identity. I pray you will use the name tonight. I pray you use the name against that problem in your life. Because it's a prized name. You know there are family names that some people wish they have? Some successful people who have been world famous. I have a friend, uh, an American friend. His name is Presley. Some of you have met him. And he used to say to me, when he says Presley, people will ask him, which Presley? Because somebody else has made that name famous. We don't need anybody to make our name famous. God himself had made the name famous. From the foundation of the world, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. He opposed all things by the word of his power. And we know the word and Jesus are one. This name has been there from in the mind of God. He knew it from the foundation of the world. As the name everything we bow to. I'm going to do a book on the name of Jesus next book. Did I just say that? So I will do it. It just came out. So I will do it. I will start now. Because there are some truths we've just left slip from us. And when these truths slip, we start doing things that when our eyes open, we say, ah, ah. Some of you, when you want to pray, you put someone's picture. You put, say, you put this picture. I'm praying, haba, 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 please. Tell your neighbor, please. please. We don't do that here. <laughs> now, two things Jesus said that I just want to draw your attention to real quick, and then I'm done. John 14, 13, he says, whatsoever you ask or demand in my name, I will do it. What is he saying? You can demand using the name of Jesus to receive what the blood has purchased. You can demand using the name of Jesus to receive what the blood has purchased. What does that mean? You know, I put one picture up from that meeting in Lagos of one in Kechi who was deaf in the, I think, left ear for over 20 years and was healed. There were many others. She was the only one I could get a picture. Some of you need to follow me to take photo. Anyway. I didn't pray my name. In the name of Jesus, deaf ear opened. There was another young boy like that too. I can't remember how many years his own. There was another one like that. These things happen because the name has authority in three worlds. Of things on earth. Of things in heaven. Of things on earth. And things under the earth. they, they, They will bow to that name. Paul said, we do not preach ourselves, but Christ and him crucified. Are you listening to me? Then there's another place Jesus said to use his name. Let me read for you. Where's that now? John. He said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will Give it to you. John 16, 23 and 24. The name is a guarantee for answered prayer for family members. The name is a what? Guarantee for answered prayers for family members. You saw we didn't do anything. We were just singing about that name. People began to roll all over the floor. The power was knocking people down. There's so much power in the blood and the name. So much power in it that I pray the church will go back to that revelation. John 16, 23 and 24. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name, ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Now before this time the people of Israel they, when they wanted to make prayer requests or they wanted to reach God they used the high priest. But that high priest was a human being they had to go to. 
But Jesus said, I will be your high priest. And any request you make of the Father, I will sign it as well. You know, there are some signatures that we get if you need a loan, for example, from a bank. And one of the directors of that bank is countersigning your request. They won't worry too much about you. They say, if this man, the owner of the bank is saying he will pay, we know that if he cannot pay, the man will pay. Jesus is saying that my signature makes your request valid. In Jesus' name is not to say, I have ended my prayer. In Jesus' name is to say, Father, I am pushing this to you. In the name of the person sitting at your right hand, your son who died to provide it. So I am pushing this request in the name of Jesus. Then Jesus takes that request because you've prayed in his name and says, Father, he's at the right hand. So he says, Father, to the Bolanta just prayed in my name, bringing all that I am and all that I have done and all that I was and all that I am, and all that I'm going to be, and I present that request. Uh, that request has, uh, is, uh, is, is as good as done. It's as good as done. I hope this will change the way you see your prayer. Amen. That prayer will not just be, hey, Father, you know, just, uh, in Jesus' name. That means it's not finished. Let's go. <laughs> Is it not to pray? We say amen. Let's go. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. He himself, when you said in Jesus' name, he is signing. When you say Jesus, you say Jesus countersigned this request to God. So it's not my credit. It's his credit I'm using. He was the one that credited. He was the one that gave me the password. And he said, when you are using the ATM, I will be there with you. I will be at the ATM. If there's a problem, I will help you. There are many prayers we have prayed that did not balance. But because we said in Jesus' name, the high priest, we said, say to Father, Father, he, he's just a small boy. He's my junior brother. He didn't know how to say it well. Uh, just uh, uh, amend the prayer. As received as amended. Eh? We, we amend it. Uh, just pass. Some of you have prayed very, yeah, yeah, prayer. God did for you more. It's not because of anything. The high priest said, uh, did he use my name? He said, ah, okay. He, 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 he wanted a car. He asked for a Volkswagen, but I think he can do with a best. Jesus, we amend it. In Jesus name of, that's what the name of Jesus will do for you. Stand to your feet this morning. I believe I'm done. Lord, we thank you for your presence in this service. The heaviness of your glory. Because we ministered in that name. Let's come up one more time and sing that song before the offering. Hallelujah. Just lift your hand. I want you to take three prayer requests this morning. And we're going to apply that name of Jesus. If you are watching us, you do the same where you are. Take three prayer requests. And say, Lord, I'm bringing this to you. In the name of Jesus. And if it's something you want to demand a release, you can also say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I demand a release. Lift your voices, lift your hand. Lift that request before the Lord. Lift it before the Lord. Lift it before the Lord. Father, this is my prayer request. One, two, three. And Jesus, thank you for countersigning this request and making it perfect. Maybe it's about your child. Maybe it's about your family. Maybe it's about your finances. Maybe it's about your destiny. I want you to know Jesus is more interested in your destiny than you are. Let him countersign it. Is it a job that you need? Be specific and talk to him this morning. Father, we use your name, the name you gave us, the name of Jesus. I will say all these requests are granted in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. By the same token, everything in our life that the Satan is holding back, we command a release over our family, over our finances, over our future, over everything that concerns us, over our health. We command the enemy to take off his hand. We demand a release in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.